I'm in Inglewood, and uh, we're, we're just going on a ride, man. I run down the Santa Fe River, and then I run downtown, so uh, we're going straight down from like city to city, at least nine miles, all the way to pretty much North Denver. Nine and a half miles. <laughs> I feel like this isn't even like anything too hard for me to be completely honest. It's just enjoying the process, enjoying the run. Five miles. <laughs> I, I don't really do it for any other reason besides like mental health, I guess. Eight miles in. Mile High Stadium. Let's go. I grew up right around here. So hitting those miles more than anything is just walking down memory lane, you know. My long-term goal is to win the belt and have a fight at Ball Arena. So from here, it's just enjoy the journey, you know. 10 miles, city to city, <laughs> from one city to the next. Six and a half minute pace on that one. <laughs> Ain't bad. Ooh, time to get some work in, baby. Leon's days are numbered. We're just kind of having a little team bonding day, you know, having some fun. I don't think fighting and, and should be always so serious. Have a little fun. Enjoy the journey before we become undisputed champion. Makes the dream work, baby. Let's go. Do you think Kobe's watching TV at home? No, this guy's working hard in the gym. He's not posting on his social media, but he's well prepared, more than ever, hungry than ever. You ready? I've never seen you breathe this hard. Never seen him breathe this hard. I don't know, his mindset's crazy. You know, he walk out like three hours in the altitude, swimming, uh, playing racquetball. Team round meets, you know, this guy never stops me. So I don't think uh, Leon is going to be able to handle this pressure. Too much pressure for him. I think it's good for the hand eye coordination. You got to see the balls, you got to make the right reads, make the right timing hits. Just get a little cardio, get a little sweat in, you know. Have fun too, enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> he's not feeling the altitude at all, man. If he dies, he's not showing. I don't know. This guy's not human. Yeah, this is my last training here in ATT. That's nice because next week uh, I'm fighting and uh, today I can feel the vibe for my gym. You know, a lot of champs right here. Every day, work very hard. This <laughs> This is helping me a lot to push myself, you know. It's a gift to be part of this gym. Uh, when you have like um, a lot of true champions, you know, a lot of hard work every time. I learn a lot with everyone here. That's it. That, that's very special for me to be a part of the American Top Team. Mais uma, deu, pronto. Esse último treino foi único exclusivamente para estimular a potência do Pantoja. É um trabalho de circuito ali combinado, alternando com intervalo ativo, mantendo ele ativo, dinâmico. O Pantoja está pronto. A gente teve um tempo perfeito, sem lesão. Então agora é concentrar nessa fase final, perda de peso, ajustes ali. Está pronto para defender o que é dele. We are here in Simpsonville, South Carolina at Team Upstate Karate Team Pitch Black where we run a martial arts school. We've been here in Simpsonville for over, for about 40 years now. So this is where I spend my camp. All day, every day, we're in the gym, uh, training, teaching classes, picking up kids from school. We do it all. <laughs> Close to fight time, we're not gonna be doing any kind of sparring or anything like that. It's just about keeping the cardio up. We got some ground and pound work in. Battle rope to kind of tax the, the arms and build the lungs up a little bit more and keep that going. Right here, right here, right here. Let's go. Lead leg, lead leg, lead leg. Shavkar Rachmanov is a tough guy, man, undefeated. I'm so glad that he took the fight. I was looking for a top opponent, somebody who ranked above me for a while now. And what better guy to test my skills off against than Shavkar Rachmanov? Um, I beat him. We're looking at a title shot next. One more. 
These guys are counting me out because, because I'm 40? Oof. Glover to share, huge inspiration to me. I mean, he was what, 42? Jan Blahovich before him? Yeah, Jan Blahovich before him. We can still get it done, man. Let's go, vets, let's go. <laughs> We're in the Mob Museum in Vegas, just walking around and reading all the history and that's been a belter day out. My dad and my brother got me into it years ago. I've watched a lot of a lot of documentaries online and on YouTube and stuff like that. There's Goodfellas, JB Burke. That's who De Niro's character was based on. I, I know quite a bit. Everyone's always shocked. <laughs> that's what the Tangiers is based on. The flamingo. Big Cassius there. Why are you gonna beat people up? It's my job. It's my job. Where are you from? Ireland? Liverpool. Liverpool, Brits! My brother come and done this when he came to Vegas like five years ago and he said I need to go and do it and I've never been before so I was this is something I wanted to do while I was here in Vegas and I'm made up that we've came and done it. I'm over the moon. Thanks a lot. See you later. Time mate. Get home safe. We're here at the Allegiant Stadium to watch the Raiders play the, the, the Vikings. It's my first ever NFL game. I'm excited to be here and see it. At our game against the Minnesota Vikings, is this the first time you've been to Allegiant? Yeah, my first ever game. You know, first time coming to the stadium and come here, experience the atmosphere, the the people. Uh, it's, it's amazing. I've been to the O2 Arena to, to be there and in the States. What's the difference between the crowd? Well, O2 for me is hometown, you know, so for me it's different. But, like I said, the, 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 the crowd, is, as you can hear it, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy, so it's, it's amazing to be here. You are defending something special right now. Yeah, 100%, 100%. It's going to be a spectacular showing um, to go against someone like Cove, Cove Covington as well. Someone I don't really like, I feel like that, 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 that adds, um, <laughs> adds fuel to the fire, you know. So now to be able to headline the Team Mobile Arena next week, Saturday. Yep. Defending my strap. Um, it's a perfect scenario to come here now, experience the crowd, experience the people at Vegas, and just gain energy for next weekend, you know. So I'm excited for it. Beautiful day. Now we'll go get some laundry fuel, take a little little chill at the house, and then come back, get some pads in. And, and uh, yeah, not too much. I don't cut weight, so you'll see I'm eating good for lunch. I'm eating some steak, eating whatever I want, so I'm, I don't suffer. I make other people suffer. Leon, you're gonna be suffering next weekend. We eating good, baby. Let me know who's gonna be eating like this seven days out from a from a fight. No one. I don't cut weight though. You know, I, I'm a I'm a real fighter. You know, I fight in my natural weight class because I know I'm the best fighter in the world. I'm not a weight bully like Islam Makachev who has to cut all that weight to have an advantage over midgets and beat those guys up. So. You know, that's why I'm the number one pound for pound fighter on earth, because I fight in my natural weight class. Yeah, it's gonna be good as well, but yeah, let's do it. Wow. Look at this, what are you talking about? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, well done. Oh, that's awesome. Well done. That's amazing. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. My, make my wish. Yeah, that's right. Yes, let's go. One more time. One week. One week we shock the world. We make history and, and, and make this legacy greater than anybody else. It's going to be legendary. Don't miss out. Only on pay-per-view, Snowflakes. <laughs>